Hi, I'm George, and let's see how much to host a Minecraft server. We'll be comparing five of the top Minecraft hosting sites. Apex Hosting, Hostinger, which is right there, there we go. Bisect Hosting, ScalaCube, and also Shockbyte. And the first question is, why would you want to pay for hosting on a server? Why don't you just put it on your own computer? And there are a few good reasons for this. Now, if you just have a small number of players and you're playing just on your home network or on a company network, you can go ahead and set it up there and not bother this way. But if you want to have it public, then you'll have to have access to the public internet. And that pretty much requires that you have these things hosted at a hosting company. Also, and this is important, they handle all the maintenance. If anything goes wrong, they're going to fix it. They also handle all the updates. All of these sites also have easy installations so you can very quickly and easily set up your Minecraft hosting without any real problems. And they'll be done very, very quickly and they all have good support as well. So lots of reasons why you want to pay for hosting if you're getting just a little bit beyond doing it on your own private network. Any good hosting service or hosting site is going to have a lot of stuff pre-built for you. And let's take a look at Apex Hosting over here. It's a real quick rundown. Some of these things in here, Java and or Bedrock Edition servers, 24-7 chat and ticket support, mod and plugin support right there, very useful, one-click mod pack installers, up-to-date premium hardware with low latency. And that's very important when you're playing a game and the more people you get involved in the game, the more players you have playing at a time, the more that you need that low latency. Again, that goes back to having premium hardware, FTP and MySQL database access, free server transfers. Most of these sites will offer a money-back guarantee. Apex Hosting has a seven-day money-back guarantee. Pre-made mini games, making it very easy to quickly set up. Servers should have a real high uptime. And again, they have whole banks of servers so they can quickly switch over if there's any problems. And all these sites will let you get up and running very quickly in five minutes or less in most cases. Some more things that you may want to take a look for and a lot of these sites have this and that's that you want to have automated backups. You want to have subdomains. Again, I like live chat. All these sites will have DDoS protection. They should have multiple server locations around the world. All these sites have SSD drives, not just old fashioned spinning hard drives, but SSD drives, those are much, much faster. And you also want to have plenty of slots available and these are player slots. All of these sites have a lot of player slots. Now, there are differences in the different sites. For instance, over here on Apex Hosting, there is that seven day money back guarantee right here. Hostinger has a much better guarantee. They have a 30 day money back guarantee. You see it right down here, but they're more expensive unless you buy a 24 or 12 month package, in which case the prices come back down to where everybody else is. Bisect, which is right here, has a three day guarantee. And in most cases, that's really all you need. And then Shockbyte, they have a three-day guarantee for their system. So as you can see, they mostly have guarantees, but it does vary depending upon the server company. Something else that's important to consider is how many slots these games have, and that's how many players you can have on your game at one time. For instance, here on Shockbyte, if we scroll down a little bit and take a look at what we have in here, notice that these list how many slots. Their lowest has just 20 slots. Their kind of low medium price, 40 slots, goes up to 60 slots. Notice that the number of slots goes up depending upon the amount of RAM available. And that's pretty typical because the number of players is going to be dependent upon how much RAM you have. Apex Hosting has unlimited slots. It's not a problem here, so that's real nice. Now, Hostinger doesn't mention that any place. I couldn't find how many slots are there, so I'm assuming that they're unlimited, and they're the most expensive of these five sites, so that, again, would make sense if they would be unlimited. Bisect Hosting here, also unlimited, but I'd recommend here going for a premium package. It gives you everything that you need, and they do have unlimited slots here for Bisect Hosting. Down here on ScalaCube, they have limited slots. You can see it right here, 10 player, $5 per month. As you pay a little more, you get more players. For most people, you're not going to need much over these numbers down here. But again, it does get rather expensive per month, 72 per month. That's a lot of money for 225 player slots. Over here at Shockbyte, they have kind of two settings in here, two sets of hosting. The top set here has limited number of slots. And then come down here, they have these three plans. These all have unlimited slots. Their cheapest here is $25 for unlimited slots. So real nice service, actually, if you're doing a complex and popular server, 10 gig RAM is a lot and unlimited slots. That's not a bad option right here. Again, I went with the Apex hosting over here, which has unlimited slots. Okay, let's now take a look at costs on these. Let's first look at their cheapest hosting and then we'll see what I would recommend as a basic hosting setup. I'll go to pricing here on Apex hosting 
and their cheapest is one gigabit of RAM, and that's $6 a month, and that's pretty good. You can get started this way. Now, all of these sites will let you increase how much RAM you have, you know, change your plan very quickly, very easily. We're here at Hostinger. Their cheapest is $8.95 per month, and that's right down here. Now, this is only the price if you buy a 12-month or 24-month plan. It's normally $12 a month, $11.95 per month. Again, they're the most expensive on a monthly basis, but if you get a 12-month or 24-month, it comes down to in line with everybody else. On Bisect Hosting, on their premium packages, their lowest one here is $7.99 per month. So they're all very similar, as you can see, in that price range. At Scala Cube, the regular price is right down below $5 per month, but these have a limited number of slots. Again, you can upgrade as you go. Now, one thing about Scala Cube, which is really nice, is they have a free hosting right over here, free server hosting, basic server, three gigabit of RAM, 30 gig SSD, just has one game. Servers can only have one game set up, and this is a great way to get introduced to setting up a server. The problem here, you have to renew this every two days. They can keep on doing that if you want to, just every two days renew it, but that begins to be a hassle pretty quickly. But this is a real nice way to get in and try it out and see if you like doing it, see if there's any questions you have to answer without spending any money ahead of time. Over here on our final one at Shockbyte, they're least expensive down here. One gig of RAM again, they have 20 slots, which is twice what they had over here at Scala Cube, and this one is $250 a month, and this is the cheapest plan that I found at this low one on these five top sites. Now, my recommendation is to not go for the cheapest plan. Go one or two steps above. I think a good starting point is two to three gigabits of RAM. That's enough RAM to begin using some mods or adding in some mods into your game. So you can test that out as well. A lot of these at one gig, there's not enough power, there's not enough memory to put mods into the game and still do anything with it. I think two is really the bare minimum to actually have a little bit of control, a bit of flexibility on how you're setting up your server. Let's take a fast look at that over here. Now that's what I did on my Apex server hosting. I have it set up right here with the two gig of RAM and I'll be using this one for future videos and I'll be going through and showing how to set the whole thing up and run a server and all that. And that's mostly here on Apex hosting. If I get questions about the other hosting providers, I'll go ahead and get one of those accounts set up as well and do videos on that if I get enough requests for that. Now they recommend four gig of RAM. If you're serious about it, this is probably a really good basic price and I'll probably go up to this one at some point with my own server here. Now, on Hostinger, their 3 gig of RAM is actually $39.95 unless you pay the 12 or 24 a month. Then it's at, let's say, $13 a month. It's a little bit more expensive than the other sites, but again, this is a very good hosting site, and it's worth a couple of extra bucks to do that. Over here on Bicycle, they have a very good one here, 2 gig of RAM at $10 and a 3 gig at $15 both good options in here. They recommend 4 gig here if you're doing just basic servers, but it's a popular site, and they're recommending 6 gig for mod packs if you're using several mod packs. Again, I think you can start out lower, and then if you're running into problems, you can then increase what you're getting, but I start with a 2 or 3 gig as a starting point. Over here on Scala Cube, they have a 3 gig right here. It's only $10 a month for the first month, and then 20 a month after that, but again, this is limited to those 40 player slots. And then finally at Shockbyte, they have a good one here at 2 gig of RAM, only $5 a month, and 3 gig and only $7.50 a month. Again, really good deal right in here. Now, there are a few things I wanted to point out here that can help you out as you're thinking about setting up a server. Over here at Apex, and go over here to Support, they have a great knowledge base right here. Let's open this one up. Lots of information in here about working with the control panel. All these different sites use the same control panel, general questions, Minecraft game types, working with mod packs, plugins, mods, working with maps. There's a lot of information in this knowledge base. A great place to come to learn about how to run a server. Another one over here is Scala Cube. If you go up here to more and come down to support, and right here, 81 tutorials on running Minecraft servers. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Lots of information in here as well. A great place to come and learn how to run a server. And the last one I want to show over here is Shockbyte. And Shockbyte actually has a YouTube channel. Go right here where it says read our facts and scroll down just a little bit right down here. And here's the link for their YouTube channel. And they also have a great knowledge base as well. So there's lots of help in here on these different sites. And I'll put links to these specific pages also in the description. Great place to go to learn how to set up and run a Minecraft server. So there you go. That's how much to host a Minecraft site. 
and I'll be doing more videos about Minecraft site hosting, how to set up a server, how to run a server, all those kind of questions, and also a video on inexpensive or cheap and even free ways to host servers as well in an upcoming video. I'll see you later.